First of all, great to see you. First time all too. season. Yeah. Congratulations on this win. Congratulations on the entire season. We understand this is one step along the way. Just if you can, your emotions moving forward with this group and taking care of business in the first round. Yeah, look, look, it's always great to win a playoff series. And, of course. And, <laughs> and we haven't done that yet in this group. <laughs> so uh, it's thrilling. You know, we've got to give Boston a lot of credit first and foremost, uh, you know, to, to come up against a formidable opponent like that. They played hard. You know, they gave us a lot of different looks out there. So hopefully they got us ready for the next series as well. And, uh, and um, you yeah, know, you look at the mood in the locker room after the game today, and there was a lot of relieved faces, a lot of smiling faces. Guys are enjoying the moment, yep. but uh, at the same time, this isn't really uh, an opportunity for us to go out and go, great, we're, we're here. We're, we've got a long way to go yet, and that's what, that's what we're shooting for. Yeah, you could tell there was emotion and celebration, but <laughs> muted because this is not the end goal. This no. is considered one step along the way. Everybody knew what the, the whole season was about the anticipation for this season and you knew yeah. th this was also uh, the evolution of this franchise and all of it coming together the way that it has what did you like about what you saw from this team in this opening round series well you know to be honest it was a little bit like a training camp um you know <laughs> we, ha we haven't had our guys you know um healthy and available all year so you know to be able to put a, a week together prior to the playoffs and then you saw your know, glimpses uh, in the game you know I, we'd string it together four or five plays we'd string together a quarter you know for us it's gonna be like you know how do we close out quarters now you know guys getting used to play to play with each other and, and so forth and and um, you know the camaraderie building on and off the court you know I think we've had honest conversations amongst the group with the coaches the players and so forth and all that's building you know that's that's that camaraderie is building and uh, you know, it, it's fun to watch the evolution of the guys and, and they, they keep getting better when you keep score and you maintain the results as part of the record book fans from the outside may not view it any differently than it's always been but it has been completely different in how you handle a team how you put this all together based on the restrictions and yet here we are mm -hmm. first round is over you move on to the second round and i'm sure your head is spinning with what this season has been like yet this part's over and now you prepare so there's almost more normalcy to this in many ways because uh, it's a regimen of what's next well we know what's next you got to match up with the milwaukee bucks next yeah absolutely and you know the good thing for us is, is you know a lot of our guys have been through this a lot yep. which is great which is great and, and they'll be leaders and they'll be leaders in the clubhouse and so forth and you know we know we've got to get a little lucky you know we've got to manage the guys th throughout this course this next series we know it's gonna be difficult milwaukee's a heck of a team uh, but I, I give our coaching staff, performance staff, you know, they've done an amazing job this whole year in, in just getting the trust of the players through what, what's been a season unlike any so far. So, you know, it'll be better. We continue to stay healthy, knock on wood, and go out there and continue to grow, and, and we'll see where it goes. Your impressions of Steve Nash in his first go-around as a head coach in the NBA playoffs? Um, great. I think Steve will be the first to tell you. I've, I've said a few times, like, he doesn't know what he doesn't know yet, and he's he's growing, and he's he's asked his coaching staff for advice all the time. But it's been it's been amazing to see the the, the humility which he approaches the game, uh, the respect that he has from his players, and the poise. I mean, you see him out there, and I know half the year or most of the year we've had a mask on, so you can't really read his lips the whole time. But the advice he's been giving from the players and the listening, I think that's so important. What he does is he listens to his players uh, the same way he was when. You you know, he was a two-time MVP, so, um, you know, he's proved his worth out there. Sean, the ambiance from these fans, uh, just the playoff feel, just having people here, the switch from early in the season to now, that's been uh, the part that's hard to wrap your brain around because it's just so drastic from one end of the spectrum to the other. Your feelings just being here in this moment. Yeah, you know, words can't really describe it, to be honest. I think this is what um, what we've been shooting for for five years. Yeah. It's, it's not done, but this is where we want to get to. And to, to have, I'm so glad the, the fans are backpacking Barclays again. Um, you know, we're nothing without them, and, and we need them. We're going to need them for this for this next series and, and so forth. So uh, great to hear their emotion behind it. And to be honest, the borough needs it. You know, yeah. everybody wants to get behind the nets here, and it's amazing. And, uh, you know, I know our players felt it out there, which is terrific. 